All right, welcome to Otaku Lens. Today we're doing something super cool. I'm loading up and I'm gonna go get some awesome footage with this bad boy right here. This is the A7 III. Yes, and I've got my 25 millimeter baddest uh, on here. Boom, boom, boom. It is gonna be super fun. I've got an ND filter. We're gonna get some great footage and hopefully share something super cool with you about this awesome lens. Let's get it. All right, so we are out checking right now to see what kind of footage I can get in the harsh time of the day. I have my ND filter on. I am currently in 2.8 and it is really bright. The skies are beautiful. I have it in S-Log2 and this is what I'm getting. So right now my histogram is just a little to the right. I have, uh, there's your skies right there. We are in 24 frames per second. I am on 1 40th. It is at 2.8. Here is a shadow test. So right now I'm in the shadows. You can see it's, it's definitely a little darker. And then back up here. Now we're, we're looking at a lot of the highlights are kind of there. This is my S-Log2 picture profile. I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick test. I'm gonna stop it down to 5.6. And you can see it as I go down. I'm at F4 now and now I'm at 5.6. Five, 5.6 six. Five, six is usually what I try to stick at if I'm gonna have something uh, where I want to have some good detail, but I'm gonna also adjust my ND filter. I'm gonna take it back up one stop on the ND filter. So now I'm, I'm around, probably around ND4. Again, this lens is not stabilized. Uh, I have in-body stabilization on, but you can definitely see. So I will be stabilizing this a little bit in post where you can see the difference. So again, 5.6, and here's the shadows, and back up at the skies, and it is beautiful today. You can see lots of, lots of beautiful sky here, the asphalt, and let's go ahead and again take it back down. I'm gonna go ahead and hit uh, my, I'm gonna take my shutter speed, I'm gonna crank it over to 1 50th. So there's 1 50th, it is dead center on the histogram, and we're at 5.6. So this is 5.6, and we're at 800 ISO all the way. I'm gonna try and keep it at 800 ISO, and now I'm gonna crank it back down to 2.8. I never, during the day, try and shoot this wide open because it completely washes out everything. Now I'm gonna come back down one stop on the ND filter. And here we are at 1 50th, F2.8. 800 ISO, the meter is reading at 2.0 flash. Histogram is just a little bit to the right. And over here, 1 50th shadow test. And there's our shadows. But that sky, look at that beautiful sky right there. So 1 50th right there. And I'm gonna crank it back down to, there's 2.0. There's 2.2, you can see starting to get a little bit and there's 2.0 right there. 2.0, 150th. Looks pretty clean, 800 ISO. So if you're gonna use this lens with the a7 III and you're gonna shoot 150th F2.0 uh, on the 25 millimeter Batis, you definitely have, it, it is extremely bright. It's noon right now, so it's not the brightest part of, of my day. Uh, I've got it on 800 ISO, handheld, and this is again 1 50th f2.0, and here's my shadows. We're looking up at the sky, and I am definitely to the right on this one. So this is 1 40th, 2.0, 800 ISO, S log 2. All right, so right now I think my best setting is the 1 40th in F2.8 and running about 800 on the ISO for S-Log2. You can see the skies are really beautiful up here. Uh, over here, same thing. It is bright, really bright right now. Uh, and I just, I think that the clarity of the blues can kind of be picture profile corrected the best through the S-Log2 because it's gonna keep the highlights in actual frame here. 
and it's going to keep those, those blacks, it's going to keep them crushed down because I've adjusted and tweaked my, my S-Log2 settings enough so that I try to retain all of that. This is an awesome lens and I hope that you guys find this very beneficial because it is amazing, especially when you're using it out on a bright day and you got an ND filter about an ND4. The Battis 25 millimeter F 2.0 is killing it. I like to run it around 2.8, especially if I'm gonna be trying to get as much uh, information as I can, but F 5.6 is also very clean in the shadows. It's very clean up in the highlights. This is a lens that I would recommend to anyone, especially if they're wanting to get out and get some landscape type photography. My other go-to lens is gonna be my 16 to 35 millimeter OSS because of the stabilization. I do recommend using a gimbal with this if you're gonna be out getting some good footage. You can take a little bit of it out in post. The a7 III does an amazing job of stabilizing this, but I still have to add a little bit of warp stabilizer. And you'll see that in the post as I'm doing some of the picture profile correction. Uh, for S-Log2, which is by far the best that I found with this lens outside of Cine 4. Cine 4 is amazing, S-Log2 is better. The only thing that I would recommend though, if you're gonna do this directly out of the camera and you're not gonna be doing any color profile corrections or anything like that, if you take off the picture profiles, you're still gonna get a really clean image. Uh, just make sure you have an ND filter on a very, very bright day like this because this is, again, it's, it's really bright and I wanted to share, I'm, I'm trying to do these harsh conditions for you so you can understand you're not always gonna get that picture perfect smile or that picture perfect image. You have to kind of adjust. And to play and post, it's really tough if you don't know what you're doing. I will probably try this on my a6400, but I think for the a7 III, this is the killer. Uh, I can't wait to ride. Hold on one second. It's a beautiful day out here. We got people riding motorcycles. I really wish I was on my Harley right now, uh, but I'm here with you guys sharing something super awesome.